friends, I'm Ashley and welcome to Ash's Cozy Corner. I just realized that I promised this video in a different video over two months ago. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Better late than never though, right? There are so many options for cozy games on the Nintendo Switch, and if you're new to cozy gaming, it can be very overwhelming. While most cozy games are definitely easier and don't have much stress involved, there are some cozy games that are perfect for beginners. I made this list of 10 games that I think would be perfect for anyone just starting out with cozy gaming, as these games typically give you direction on what to do next or give you tips and passes if you get stuck. They're also not very open with the exception of one game on this list so you won't get overwhelmed like you could with games like Stardew Valley. Just a heads up, if you've been following my channel for a bit, you've probably heard of most of these games, if not all, as they're loved by many and for good reason. Let's start off by talking about the most well-known cozy game on the planet, Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you haven't played it yet, you need to. This game was most likely the game that got most people into cozy gaming. It came out at the perfect time, March 2020, and helped people get through a very long slump of pure crazy happening in the world. I think this is when most people realized how much cozy gaming actually helped with mental health and stress or anxiety. The official description of Animal Crossing New Horizons says this, escape to a deserted island and create your own paradise paradise as you explore, create, and customize. Your island getaway has a wealth of natural resources that can be used to craft everything from tools to creature comforts. You can hunt down insects at the crack of dawn, decorate your paradise throughout the day, or enjoy sunset on the beach while fishing in the ocean. The time of day and season match real life, so each day on your island is a chance to check in and find new surprises all year round. Okay, so Animal Crossing definitely has a lot to do, but not in a, oh my gosh, there's so much to do, I don't know where to start, I'm overwhelmed kind of way. One thing that really helps to not be overwhelmed is the time in game matches the time in real life, so you're never scrambling to get anything done before the day ends in game. You can make a daily to-do list to keep you on track, or just do whatever the heck you feel like doing that day, and both are amazing options. Animal Crossing really never makes you feel like you're falling behind. Just a little freebie, if you've already played Animal Crossing New Horizons and want something that's kind of similar, try out Cozy Grove. Wildflowers is another game I would recommend to anyone just starting out with cozy gaming and my community said the same thing. Wildflowers is a super cozy farm life sim where you play as a witch and move to a town called Fairhaven to help take care of your sick grandmother. Join Tara on a heartfelt journey to become a witch in Wildflowers. Farm by day and cast spells by night as you craft your cottagecore life and bond with your coven. Come to know and love the fully voice acted characters of Fairhaven as you unravel a local mystery. Wildflowers makes it so easy to continue through the game with tons of quality of life additions that will help beginners so much. You have three options you can use for time in game, those being relaxed, normal, and challenging. Relaxed giving you more time in each day and challenging giving you less. You can change this anytime during your gameplay. Seasons are also similar in this game as you you are the one who changes the seasons. You'll choose when you want to switch from spring to summer and so on. So you have plenty of time to harvest or get whatever you need to get done before the season changes. You have infinite inventory. Your tools are automatic. There's just so many good quality of life additions to this game. It's incredibly beginner friendly and many new cozy gamers actually started with this game as their first cozy game. Let's talk about a shorter game, a short hike. Honestly, if you're just starting out with gaming, a shorter game may be best to help you test the waters a little bit, and this one would be perfect coming in at around four to five hours. In a short hike, you'll hike, climb, and soar through the peaceful mountainside landscapes of Hawk Peak Provincial Park. Follow the marked trails or explore the backcountry as you make your way to the summit. Along the way, meet other hikers, discover hidden treasures, and take in the world around you. You have a main goal of reaching the summit, of course, but with the ability to do so at your own pace and the added bonus of a few other things to do while you're exploring. You'll collect golden feathers and also help the characters you already know or meet along the way and also learn to fly and glide. Overall, it's a great beginner-friendly game to get you started in the exploration genre. Like I said, this is a short game, but at $7.99, it's definitely worth it. Okay, up next is Melody 
melatonin, and if you think you'll like rhythm games, this is the one to try. Melatonin is a rhythm game about dreams and reality merging together. It uses animations and sound cues to help keep you on beat without any intimidating overlays or interfaces. Harmonized through a variety of dreamy levels containing surprising challenges, hand-drawn art, and vibrant music. First, let me say that rhythm games can be frustrating and some people actually rage with these games, so if that's you, maybe skip out on melatonin. For me, there is nothing more satisfying than beating a level in a rhythm game. The graphic style is so beautiful, it definitely achieves that dreamlike state they were going for and gives it a more cozy vibe with the pastel coloring. The reason I recommend this for beginners is the extra features you have access to, which are things like the practice mode to help you out and the assists in game, allowing you to toggle them on and off to make the game easier. I did see a review on Steam that said this guy has some weird day dreams, not gonna lie. And I have to say, I agree, but hey, it works. Pokemon Snap is another that I would recommend as Pokemon is something almost everyone knows about. And this is Game Freak's version of a cozy game. Pokemon Snap is a beautiful game where you take photos of Pokemon in their natural habitats in the lentil region. This game has really cute graphics and nothing stressful whatsoever. And the game mechanics are really simple. Really, you're just looking around while the game auto drives you around in a cart. So all you have to worry about is interacting with the Pokemon by throwing apples and taking photos of them sleeping, or you can take photos of Bidoof's booty. The goal is to complete the Pokemon photo decks, which is so much fun because you get to choose your favorite photos to show off in the decks and you can completely customize it. There's also the option to edit the photos you take with stickers, frames, and filters. Then you can share them online and also look at others' photos they have taken and shared. This one is very straightforward and easy to follow as well as being super peaceful, so it's perfect for beginners. Now, let's talk about a cute management sim, Lemon Cake. Restore an abandoned bakery and prepare pastries from farm to table. Grow fresh ingredients in the greenhouse, cook pastries and sweets in the kitchen, and serve your baked goods to hungry customers in your own shop. If you like to micromanage all the details of something like owning a bakery, but don't actually want to own a bakery, this is perfect for you. In Lemon Cake, you will be repairing an old bakery with the help of a very friendly ghost, and that includes so many jobs. Growing the food, taking care of the animals, making the recipes and baking, serving your customers, expanding your menu, and keeping track of the schedule you make, you name it. Don't think of games like Overcooked. This one is much more calm and way less challenging than other similar styled games, so it's a good intro to management games. The only downside is the price on the Switch. It is $30 compared to $15 on Steam. Sky, Children of the Light is next. This is the game I was talking about earlier that is the one exception. This game is very open. However, the gameplay mechanics are very simple, so don't worry about the open world too much as it's not overwhelming. Sky Children of the Light is a peaceful, award-winning MMO from the creators of Journey. Explore a beautifully animated kingdom across seven realms and create enriching memories with other players in this delightful puzzle adventure game. I recently played through Sky and let me just say, it is easily one of the most beautiful and simple games I have ever played. You'll play as a child of the light trying to heal the world of darkness. Fly and glide around the beautiful landscapes looking for spirits or find a friend to explore around the world with and even decorate your own in-game home. This game is perfect for anyone and simple enough for even the youngest players to play. Bonus points? It's free. A little to the left is next, and it was actually my very first cozy puzzle game that I ever played. And spoiler alert, yes, I loved it. A little to the left is a cozy puzzle game that has you sort, stack, and organize household items into pleasing arrangements while you keep an eye out for a mischievous cat with an inclination for chaos. A little to the left has over 100 puzzles to solve, all based on household objects. Most of the puzzles have multiple solutions, and you can definitely Definitely go back and 100% the game by trying to solve each puzzle differently if that's an option. Sadly, once my brain figured out a puzzle, it was not going to solve it any other way, so kudos to you if you can. A little to the left is super beginner friendly because it has tons of options for skipping levels and also a really cool hint system that lets you be in control of seeing how much of the hint you want to see. This next game is actually one that just released a few weeks ago. 
little kitty, big city. You're a curious little kitty with a big personality on an adventure to find your way back home. Explore the city, make new friends with stray animals, wear delightful hats, and leave more than a little chaos in your way. After all, isn't that what cats do best? I love everything about Little Kitty Big City. This game is actually pure joy. The hilarious dialogue had me laughing every single time and the characters are so random, I wasn't expecting some of them. I also cannot get over how freaking adorable every single hat is that you can put on the cat. That was such a nice addition that nobody knew we needed, but we needed it. Everything you ever wanted to do, but as a cat, all of the chaos you have ever dreamed of causing is in this game. Or I guess you could just be normal and fulfill the quest, but where's the fun in that? I think every game on this list is great for every age, but I think this one would be the winner of every age can play because it's just so darn cute. I mean, you play as a cat, the quests aren't hard, and it's really easy to explore around the city. One last game to mention, The Shape of Things. In The Shape of Things, experience a relaxing atmosphere from the comfort of your cozy room by solving small 3D puzzles inside collectible gotcha ponds and find the original Shape of Things inspired by Rubik's style. This is a perfect beginner puzzle game to start with. You'll be focusing on figuring out how to find the correct position for real life objects by rotating, painting, or scaling items like a backpack, a chicken timer, and a rubber duck to mention a few. A few quick, really cool things to mention is that the shape of things has no timer, so you have all the time you need to finish the puzzle. You'll be able to adjust the room you're in by changing the weather and the time of day to match whatever mood you want. There are also different worlds you can unlock by solving puzzles and using your in-game coins to use on the gotcha machine, which unlocks new worlds with new puzzles. And there it is, the video that was promised two months ago finally recorded and posted. Sometimes you just gotta call yourself out. For all you new cozy gamers out there, I hope you can find something on this list that you love. If you need any more recommendations at all, just ask in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe for all the cozy gaming content. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a cozy day and God bless.